It's week two of the NFL, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the reigning AFC champs and the Ravens, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. They love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we're at MT Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. gets ready to take over the football. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. The numbers for him from a week ago. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Second down, another run with Taylor. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Looking to throw. Cobb. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Patrick Queen gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will be down just inside the 30-yard line. Nothing on the scoreboard, 0-0, as the offense gets ready to take over the football. First and 10, Taylor now. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. This is Taylor, and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. They go play action here on first down. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman, and it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Back to throw. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there 
Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A gain of six there on first. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Terrell Lewis in there to bury him for a loss of 11. No score after one on EA Sports. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And the Ravens are going to have the football here at their own. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drop. And he can't escape, and down he goes. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Now Charles, this offense just can't seem to get off the ground. But the quarterback, he has to keep picking himself off the ground because this pass rush, they've been on him so far in a big way. Three sacks here in the first half. He might tell his offensive line, quit helping me up and just block the guys in front of you. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Taylor. And some room to run now. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung here. No appreciation for the guys from the back side. They didn't allow any leakage and anybody to run back from the nah, back side. They're at the kids' table. Okay, so, so front side guys, good. Yeah. Back side guys, Man. That, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable game. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. Flushed out right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. They'll run on first down. It's Taylor. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Patrick Queen. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as he gets this up past. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And within trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. On first down, Cobb eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Taylor's got the first down and more. And all the way up to the 46. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackler, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy. 
and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. On first down, Taylor. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. On first and 10, Cobb. They complete it to Hill. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, hard to argue with that being their best drive. of the Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And it's a unit last drive. They did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Pressure too much. Down he goes. Terrell Lewis able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Looking to throw. Cobb escaping the pressure right. Airs it out toward the corner of the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On the handoff, Taylor. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Again, it's Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. On the draw is Taylor. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a yard on the run there. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. A 40-yard punt give him three on the return. And the Ravens. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. 
as they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. 191 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time to get it to the line of scrimmage and get set. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun. Cobb flush to his right. Caught right side, Davis. Now the Ravens going to use one go, of their timeouts. Go. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. On third down, here's Taylor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Taylor. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that mark short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And the city will be alive tonight. The Jets have won it. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now... It's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Jets, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots. I was talking with my crew before the show.